The influence he had on music has lasted for decades. Chef is one of those guys that is transcendent of any artistic category. He touched the lives of some of rock's biggest stars. He was the man in the 70s. I mean, well, should I say he was the chef? Yet he never recorded an album. He never even cashed a royalty check. He was just one of the one of the greatest, coolest guys around, you know. It's unbelievable what Chef has done for me. And just when he'd settled into an idyllic life of steam table days and steamy nights, the music world had one more surprise for Chef. Uh-oh. Tonight, the triumph, the tragedy, the tuna casserole of Chef, as Comedy Central takes you behind the menu. Well, Chef's influences are, uh, you know, uncountable, really. And Chef uh, came in one day and we were playing. He was like, hey, you boys, I'm out. He just told us, you know, I'm out here in the back cooking uh, with Red Hot Chili Peppers. And we, we were like, what a great idea for a band name. The music was just absolutely kick-ass, man. I tend to, to hum uh, Chef's music in my head quite often. While no official recordings were ever made of Chef's music, bootlegs of his legendary sound do exist. First time I heard Chef was on a bootleg of Love Gravy. They laid it down on reel to reel, all right, and then they, they pressed it to vinyl, they pulled it back down onto an eight track, then a cassette, then a CD, and now it's been remastered to that. Oh! <laughs> From punk to metal, the 80s changed the music scene. You know, back when me and the guys from Twisted Sister were starting out, there was this guy around the scene, Chef, and he was such an inspiration to us and our music. We drew so much, we took so much from him. He got us pointed in the right direction and then he just disappeared. Well, I was moving on up in the business, you know, when along came that Twisted Sister crap and I just went on and quit the music business. I'm glad he quit. I'm glad he quit, though. I'm glad he quit the music because he gave us all a chance, because I mean, we had no chance before. It's a remarkable thing that one person can bring that much joy to the world. He just make it better for the world. There was only one Beatles, there was only one Chef, there was only one Elvis. He was just, he was the man, he was happening. I just feel privileged and honored and really, really just amazingly fortunate to have been in his dharma. They say that, you know, show business, you know, it's, it's all in who you know and I know Chef. Oh, Chef was a movie that I scored back in 1971. I won an Oscar for it. It was about a black private. No, no, Chef. Who? Chef. 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 Chef.